everyone, it's Nisha. I am back. I've missed you so much. I know you have seen a couple of my videos, uh, but they were pre-recorded, so I feel like I haven't actually sat down and talked to you in ages. Um, so today I wanted to show you a bit of my holiday in Cape Verde. <clears throat> For those of you who do, don't know where Cape Verde is, I will leave you a link to this um, geography channel that gives you very quick facts about different countries and I found one about Cape Verde so I will leave you the link there so you can watch that. It's only a short video. So how are we going to do this video? I think at first um, I will show you around the resort. So we went to an all-inclusive resort. Uh, it was called Hotel Rio Toreg in Boa Vista, which is one of the islands on Cape Verde. Um, I filmed it like very early in the morning, just after breakfast, so you won't be that busy. Um, and then I will show you also one of our trips that we did and this amazing loggerhead turtle rescue. So I will pop in in between, in between the um, clips and I tell you a bit more about it. So uh, right now let's have a look around the resort. So this is the entry road to our hotel. I'm not going to go all the way down there because it's quite a walk. Um, but this is the entrance to the hotel. There are some buses taking people obviously back home to the airport. This is the entrance to reception area. So reception is just in front of you. It's a big area, they have a bar in the middle. Out here down there is a nightclub, Tasha. This is the amphitheatre where all the entertainment happens at night. So this is like a main square. All the restaurants are on that side. And now we're going to the gardens where all the pools and accommodation is. Beautiful gardens, really well kept. At first we got lost here. <clears throat> so if you just carry on straight from the reception, you get to the main pool. I will show you that in a minute. Here on this side is a um, all day snack bar, so if you don't want to go to the main reception for lunch or breakfast you can have it here. I suppose that serves people from this main pool, so i show you the main pool. Well. Oh, here you can do 
yoga and different type of exercise and the beach is just there the beach is so huge it's 20 kilometers long and it's very wide I mean it takes ages to get to the beach <laughs> now I will show you this is the way to um, spa and the gym and then past that there is another pool by the beach okay so this is the spa you will be able to see the beach from the spa and also there is a gym here the gym is okay but the aircon is not very good it's so hot in there and in the mornings it's really busy hi There is a hair salon and nail salon here. This is outdoor jacuzzi pool. And the gym is here. So you can see it's nice, it's not busy today, that's good. Normally when we come around this time of day, it's packed. So now I'm back at the main pool and we turned left to get to the spa and if I turn right we will go to the adult on the area. So now we get into adult on the area. We have different color bands, silver bands. Hello. We are very glad that we got this place. It's so much quieter, less people. So there is just two buildings. This one that you see in here and one the other side for the adult area. So we have our own pool, our own bar. Twice a week they do at lunchtime Prosecco party with the go around the pool and surf Prosecco and there is a band singing and dancing has those cabanas as well like big beds that you can lie on my Adonis and my lovely friends hello okay I might go to the end there to just get a shot of the beach how can I get there apart from oh okay what outside there oh all right okay These are our gardens. You've got like tucked away little sunbathing areas away from the pool. So as you can see, the beach is humongous. from 
the beach you can see how enormous this resort is. This is our block. I think this is block one. So, this is where we live. Okay, so this is our room. just a basic room they make all these shapes every day I suppose this is a turtle we had this on yesterday we had flowers around it as well so that was nice it's a bit messy our clothes our swimwear and then here you've got the bathroom so there is a bathroom shower in here and a toilet and this is the wardrobe so you get this which are very annoying actually those beads because <laughs> you can't move them around so i mean you can open them so there it is and we've got a little terrace there as well we're on a, on ground floor so we have a little terrace here with table and chairs Okay, so as you can see, it's a huge resort. Um, we got lost a few times, uh, but yeah, it was very lovely, very um, clean and everything. So uh, you can do some tours. Um, there is absolutely nothing outside the resort. It's just, it's like being on Mars. And I will show you here, I will insert a clip of us driving around. It just looks like grey earth with very, very little greenery and lots of rocks. Um, the, the only jobs on the island are construction, a bit of fishing and working in hotels. They are very, very poor. The average wage is, I think, 112 euros a month. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a very very poor island it makes you feel guilty really when you see outside uh, so uh, let's have a so we you can do tours obviously with your own tour operator what we did we found online before we even went um, this company called giggling geckos or giggling gecko and this is run by a couple from Scotland they moved to Cape Verde six years ago and they started this tour company they obviously know the island very well um, and it was fantastic so we did a tour um, it was like a all day island tour and as you will see there isn't much to see apart from some villages um, which are very tiny um, and beaches the beaches are just the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen uh, so we went round seeing those, we went to the capital, which was very small. And we also went to a pottery factory where they handmade pottery. So, and I bought in them uh, little, little bowls uh, for like dips and stuff. Uh, so I will show you those. So I bought these little bowls which were handmade and then painted. I've got four of them. I really like them. Um, so yeah, uh, so let's have a look at, at the tour. I don't know how much I've got of it. I didn't really want to vlog all the time. I just wanted to have, you know, holiday and I didn't want to worry about bringing my camera everywhere with me. Uh, so um, I have a bit of it, but um, let's have a look. So we are off onto an island tour. 
we're just going to meet our tour guide outside the gate should be fun what we're going to get oh. to the capital and are the, the schools here on holiday now as well yes, not just international schools So do most people here work like in hotels and... The hotel is, hotels are now the biggest employer, yes. Yeah. Uh, your hotel employs about 700 people at my last count. Um, and the second biggest industry is uh, construction. So that's oh, obviously okay. closely tied in with the tourism. Yeah, yeah. How many people live in Cape Verde then? In Cape Verde, 500,000. Go, are we still living in a half? actually more Cape Verdeans living outside of Cape Verde than is on Cape Verde. Yes. A lot of people emigrated to America, to yes. Boston for the whaling many years ago. Yeah, at night. So she's quite a big one. The loggerhead turtles, they come in at night to lay their eggs at this time of year. Uh, they lay between 80 and 140 eggs, uh, and one in a thousand of those eggs will make it uh, to the tube. Oh. Which one the turtles are they? Loggerheads or aged loggerheads. This is the yes, there are still here. Yeah. Really dark, but when you turn around and you get to the end, oh, it's really quiet because it's it? so light on the other end, you get this beautiful contrast look between the cave oh. and the water. So, the photograph is spectacular. Oh, wow! Uh -huh. Isn't it so, we just stopped off in this little village for coffee. Oh, wow! I love these seeds. <laughs> Hi. So the long table there, guys, are so this one? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So why you keep playing, boy? Walking around like you're some kind of star, yeah. You're talking sweet, pulling strings, but I know there's always something up your sleeve. So I won't listen to a word you speak anymore. Oh no, 'cause you only bring me down. And this is all ready to buy. You wanted a tortoise. Mm. What? This is just So this is Chavez Beach. And we having lunch here. Water is right up. So before, when you're standing. 
only here you can see five, six, six centimeters of beach. So what we used to do up until three months ago. Yo. So it used to be the beach was like this, but a little bit further out even. And we used to just walk straight down. So if you have a look down this way, you can on the edge. None of this rock face was here, none of it. And the first bit of rock down here was the second piece of black rock sticking out. Okay, so Cape Verde, the beaches there are turtling beaches. They have loggerhead uh, turtles and when we were there it was a turtling season which means that the turtles would come out at night on the beach, dig their nests, lay eggs and then go back into the sea. We have actually booked um, a trip which was like a night trip. You left the hotel at 8 o'clock in the evening to sit on a beach really quietly and waiting for the turtles to come out and lay their eggs and it sounded so amazing um turtles i didn't even realize are amazing creatures they're almost like robots so what happens you have to sit sit in complete darkness on a beach in dark clothing pretend to be stones rocks and the turtles come out and once they dig the nest and start laying the eggs, they go into a trance and then you can touch them and do anything you want because they are in that trance and then when they finish, you have to be quiet again, move away when they make their way back uh, to the sea. Unfortunately, we couldn't make that trip because we were all struck the day before that with a holiday tummy. So uh, we were frequently running to the toilet. I feel like my stomach is still not right. Um, I don't think that it was anything to do with the food. I think is our Western delicate stomachs are not used to, you know, there's totally different hygiene, different water, different climate. And I think very often when you go away somewhere like this, you can be a bit, you know, delicate. So what ha but what happened the day before that, my friends that we went on holiday with, Rachel and Gary, went for a very long walk on the beach and the beach was like 20 kilometers long, huge beach. Um, and they went, because our hotel was the only hotel on the south of the island. So if you walk past the hotel, there's absolutely nothing there. And they got into a turtling beach. So they saw some nests and like the turtle tracks and suddenly they spotted this huge turtle and they could tell that he was stranded he couldn't find his way back to the ocean um, and that is because they shouldn't be there in a day they are I think they navigate by the moon or something like that but because of the hotel lights uh, that can sometimes confuse them and they could tell that there were so many tracks and he looked so exhausted so what Gary did, he ran back to to our beach, hotel beach, called the coast guards or whatever they are called um, and told them about that turtle and they immediately sprinted there and it was quite a long, long run uh, because they really care about their turtles. They have conservation and you can donate money to it. They really look after their turtles. So they ran immediately there they lifted that turtle and they put him near the ocean so he could go and they filmed it so i can show you that it was amazing it just brought tears to my eyes and i wish i was there to see it so um they filmed it on their phone so obviously it will be at the wrong format but yeah have a look at that oh look
amazing. So yeah, I think that's all I have from, from the trip. Uh, I wanted to now tell you what I thought of the resort and, and the place. So it is a five star hotel, but depends where you go in the world, five star and five star not equal, are not equal. But that was reflected in the price anyway, because when I um, read reviews on TripAdvisor before we went, people were really complaining, this is not five star hotel. I think people forget where they are and comparing to what their life is like outside, this hotel was five star. Um, the gardens, the hotel was beautiful, uh, everything was very clean, the gardens were really well kept. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see um, saw a picture of the goats. So the farm goats come over in the like, late afternoon to the hotel because there is so much greenery there so they can eat stuff. And the um, hotel security were trying to get them away, but I didn't mind them at all. I thought it was really, really sweet. And also there is hundreds of cats um, in that hotel and they have really good life. That didn't bother me either. They looked very healthy, very happy. Uh, you know, people, especially English people, absolutely love cats and um, we, we <laughs> adopted one of them. Uh, so there was a little kitten and we called him Cake. Uh, he used to come over by the swimming pool and, and in the evenings by the bar sitting with us. So yeah, they were really cute. We would always give them some water or something to eat. Although they had a um, special designated place where they had food and water. But I suppose they liked being with people. They were very affectionate. Um, uh, Paul actually like late afternoon fell asleep on one of those cabanas and he woke up with a cat on the top of him you know kneading him like and pairing like cats do so but if that bothers you or you don't like cats then you might not like this resort because it is swamped with cats so um the rooms the rooms were very basic um a bit outdated um things didn't work so well i didn't feel like our air conditioning was working very well first of all when we first arrived in our room the mini fridge didn't work the ceiling fan didn't work and and the tv didn't work so we found the reception and that was sorted out very very quickly so um, there was no problem there you know I don't mind if things go wrong it's a busy huge resort it's how how they deal with it and they dealt with it really quickly and and efficiently um, also all the staff are so so friendly and lovely and they really try to make your stay as pleasurable and comfortable as possible so they really made the holiday and also what I loved was the weather the weather was the best and um, on Cape Verde the weather is almost very similar all year round it's a bit like uh, I would say Canary, Canary Island so the temperature is almost like 28 degrees that's 82 Fahrenheit all year round and it's quite windy which was very nice some days were a bit sticky and humid but not all the time so obviously the temperature goes up or down but I loved it I never felt I actually didn't spend much time in a pool at all because when you go to places like Turkey or Greece where it's like over 40 degrees you're so hot constantly that you feel like you need to be in a pool constantly I never felt like that once there it was very very pleasant in fact surprisingly um at that time uk was hotter than cape verde so so yeah the weather was absolutely wonderful now the food so you know in those all inclusives you have like a buffet style uh, food in the main restaurant and then you have few restaurants that you have to book uh, they only had one a la carte restaurant that you had to book, the gourmet one, and that was very nice. They had Asian a restaurant, but that was still buffet style. You had to book that one as well, but it was lovely. The food was lovely. We only tried really the gourmet 
and the Asian. There is an Italian one, but um, people there told me the Italian one wasn't very different from the main restaurant because in the main restaurant you had a section of like Italian food, different type of pastas and pizzas. So they said it wasn't really worth it going to that restaurant. And there was also Cape Verde restaurant and we never tried that one either. Breakfast, I would say, was the best, although I only went to breakfast three times. I just didn't eat in the morning till, till lunchtime. Um, and the food, it was nice, but it was the same every day. Uh, and it wasn't presented as nicely as other five-star inclusives that I have been to. Uh, but it was never too busy. There was no cues for the food. And the waitresses that come around and, and they just serve you drinks were very, very nice. So yeah, I wouldn't say the food was the best thing there, but it was plenty of choice. Um, I know that like in other all-inclusives, um, all five-star all-inclusives, even in those main buffet restaurants, they would do theme nights every night. So every night you had a bit different food. Whereas in that one, apart from soups, you would have like two soups every night. They would change from day to day, but the rest was always the same. So it was a bit uh, boring after a while. So if you are a real foodie, it's probably not a hotel for you. Entertainment was fine. We had a laugh, you know, entertainment, entertainment um, on those types of holidays. Uh, they had a nightclub. We never went to the nightclub. Karaoke, never went to karaoke either, but we did watch the World Cup a couple of times when England was playing and that was really good, great atmosphere. And apart from that, we were just lying by the pool, eating, drinking. So, oh, I think I've shown you we were in the adults only area and it's well worth it. I really enjoyed being there. So all in all, it was a lovely holiday. Of course, we had a lovely company. Uh, we laughed a lot. It was, it was really good. Uh, and we stayed 11 nights and I think that was plenty. I would probably never ever go to all-inclusive holiday for two weeks like we used to. It's far too long because you are in the same place, especially in a country like this where you can't really go out and see much. Um, so I will also leave you the website to Giggling Gecko so you can check them out because you can you can book the trips here before you even go away. They are very quick to respond to you. You don't pay for the trip till you've actually finished the trip. So um, yeah, I was very happy because I spoke to some people in a the hotel they booked day trips with TUI, which is the tour operator that we booked our holidays with and they were quite disappointed with day tours. Oh, the hotel also had a spa. We had one treatment. We had couple massage. That was very nice. Uh, there was a gym and it was okay. It, uh, I went to the gym, believe it or not. I went three times. It was so hot in there. The air conditioning wasn't working very well at all. And he was quite busy, believe it or not. So the first time we went, it was very hard to work out because they had only two um, treadmills, some free weights, some machines, and they were always taken up. So the next time we went about four o'clock and that was much better. It was much quieter. So yeah, so that was our holiday. I am still um, not settled back in because we came back... Um, on Tuesday, that would be last week, Tuesday, late at night. On Wednesday, we had to drive to Bournemouth to pick up Louis. So that was whole day gone. So I didn't start to do my washing and ironing till Thursday and Friday. Um, so yeah, I've been, I mean, my house is still not how it should be. Max coped really well, so um, that was good and um, I'm slowly getting back to normal. So give me some time. I might be back this week, but um, I need to really settle back into my routine. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, I, I thought I'd do this tour for people. Maybe they're thinking to go to Cape Verde to see what it actually looks like. 
I like to see those videos whenever I go on holiday anywhere. I search on YouTube for that hotel and see, you know, what it really looks like because the videos and stuff from the tour operator sites are always a bit um, enhanced, you know, and showing just the best, the best bit. So yeah, my lovelies, it's it's lovely to be back. It's lovely to talk to you again. But for now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.